world changers, Miss McCarthy here with your Florida Fast Math Freebie of the Week. I've created this weekly math video series to help you feel calm and confident as you throw down your best on Florida's Fast Math Assessment. These videos are short, sweet, and to the point, and each week we will target a specific item type. And at the end of this video, I will show you where you can find more in-depth videos to help make math your jam too. So our focus this week, the item type we will be working on is drum roll. Multiple choice. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it and let me teach ya. All right, everybody, here is our fourth grade problem for today. And it says, which of the following shows a number where the digit six is 10 times less than the value of the six in the number 952,861. That was a lot for my brain. That was the first read. I'm definitely going to take a closer look at this problem and not just jump in, but I'm gonna take a closer look and annotate the text to mark it up and break it down. So it says, which of the following shows a number? So. A, B, C, or D, which of those shows a number where the digit six, digit six is 10 times less than the value of the six in this number right here, 952,861. Okay, so I know I'm working with the digit six, which is right here. I'm just going to bring this number down and make it a little bit bigger so I can work with it a little bit larger. Okay, so which, which one, A, B, C, or D, shows a number where the 6 is 10 times less than the number I have here? So if we know our 6 is right here, this is the original number, we are trying to find which answer choice has a six that is 10 times less. Well, 10 times less means that we're going one place over to the right. We're going from taking our digit six in the tens place to putting our digit six in the ones place. That would make it 10 times less. Okay, and of course, if we wanted to make it 10 times greater, we would go the other way, but this problem is saying which one is 10 times less. So we're looking for the answer choice that has the six in the ones place. Okay, so for choice A, we have 952,681. All we're really paying attention to is where is that six located? And here, it's located in the hundreds place. But our mission is to find the number that has the six in the ones place. Therefore, we can eliminate A. Next, 956,281. Is that digit six in the ones place? No, so it's not 10 times less than the original number so we can eliminate that one too. Do you see how I'm marking it up and showing my thinking as I go? That's a great strategy to help you kind of slow down, not too slow, but help you really engage and not make as many mistakes. C, 952,861. Well, this six is in the tens place. I'll put this up here. This was in the one thousands place for B, and for C, it's in the tens place but we need the digit six to be in the ones place in order for it to be 10 times less. So that is not the right choice. Now, some people might think, ooh, we've eliminated A, B, and C. Let's just mark up D, don't do that. Don't do that, take a look at it because you may have made a mistake. It's important to really investigate that last choice. Don't just bubble it in and assume that it's right. So here we have 956, 1,816. So here we have two, two sixes. One of them is in the thousands place, the one thousands place, and one of them is in the ones place. And that is what we are looking for, right? We need a digit six to be in the ones place. So this D is our best answer. Make sure you fill it in completely here, even though on your FAST test it would be a computer-based test and you would just mark that one, okay? That's our problem for today, so make sure you have everything recorded in your notes. All right, everybody, this is a message for the grown-ups in your life. 
If you are a teacher, parent, or educational leader looking to support your students with more practice in a safe environment, follow me over to McCarthyMathAcademy.com for tons of math videos specifically geared towards Florida's best standards for math. And just know that I would love the opportunity to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for you and your students. So make sure that you check out the links around this video for more info. Okay, cool. All right. Before we go today, students, let me remind you that practice is not something we do once we're good. It's the one thing we do that makes us good. If you want to get better, stronger, or more confident with something, you have got to put in the practice. You have to put in the effort. I believe in you, and I cannot wait to see you next time. All right? Bye!